Halloween is that time of the year that uh, that always makes us a little bit uncomfortable as followers of Jesus Christ. And again, we've been talking about a lot of stuff this week, and uh, we need to. I mean, it's not always fun. Of course, it's never fun to talk about the dark side, but it is important. And as we head into Halloween itself, I thought it would be very helpful to invite Allie Tower to be with us. She is a former witch, and uh, she has pretty much put into print her journey. The name of the book is Taken from the Night, A Witch's Encounter with God. came out a couple of years ago, a few years ago. She's got a new one out called From the Craft to Christ. I think you're going to find this conversation very enlightening, and I'm so glad that Allie has agreed to be with us live on the phone. Allie, welcome to uh, the program. Good to have you with us. My pleasure, Kurt, and thank you for having me. Nice to reconnect with you, and uh, let's just dive into your story. Uh, You grew up in a traditional uh, Christian household, didn't you? Yes, I did. I um, went to Sunday school, Bible, you know, uh, classes, and and, uh, went to church on Sunday, and pretty much a, you know, normal uh, childhood growing up and and trying to uh, serve God. So here you were, you were grown up in this uh, environment that we would pretty much say was was ideal in, I guess, many ways. But would you say that it would be more accurate to portray this as a, uh, a Christian family maybe going through the motions, or uh, was the faith really deeply rooted? How would How would you describe that in your family? I would say it was more like going through the motions. I know that um, you know, as a child, to me, God was like, you know, 10,000 miles away. And uh, I didn't really think of him in a way that you could actually relate to. It was just, you know, someday you would die and you would come face to face to him. And, and at that point in time, you know, you would you would know him. But until then, it just seemed like he was far out in the distance. And you considered yourself to be a Christian because you grew up in this household, right? That's correct, yes. Okay. So as you got older, um, how did things change for you? Did you lose your grip on the on the faith that you believed that you had over time? I believe it was, um, you know, I, I had kind of went through the, the teen years and became a little, uh, you know, crazy during during that time and really wasn't so much following anymore. But I kind of came back around to a relationship with uh, Jesus right around the time um, before I got married, about a year before, a year or so before I got married, and came into a actual personal relationship. And, you know, at that point I was born again and trying to serve Jesus and just wanted to basically, um, you know, glorify God in my life in every way. Mm-hmm. So you were on fire for the Lord at that point, but in in terms of your marriage, it, it became very difficult, didn't it? Yes, it did. Um, I didn't realize it at the time, uh, neither did my husband at the time, but he was bipolar. We were not aware that there was this, you know, uh, underlying problem going on, but it caused a lot of conflict and problems in our relationship. We, you know, the uh, the ups and downs and Financially, we were, you know, living near poverty and even the basic needs of, you know, uh, heat, electricity and things of that nature were were many times going unmet. So it was it was very difficult. And I had, um, you know, we eventually had a couple children. So we were uh, living in the household and I just wanted them to really, you know, have a good example of what Christianity is and and who God was and. It just seemed like everything was falling apart. Wow. That must have been very frustrating for you. Did it make you, um, how do I put this, were you angry at God because of this? Were you disillusioned? Yeah, I w- you know, I wouldn't say at the time. I knew I shouldn't be angry at God. So, you know, I kind of went with this kind of assumption that I wasn't. But by looking back on it now, you know, I can say that, yes, I was. I was definitely angry. Because all I wanted was, you know, him to be glorified. I wanted just everything for uh, God's kingdom to be, you know, displayed in my life. And here, it was just, you know, everything against it, really. Mm-hmm. So it was, it was very frustrating. It was very upsetting to me. 
And I came to a point where I just felt that, you know, I had cried and prayed and, you know, fasted and we went to counseling and it just seemed like nothing was working and it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. So I came to a point where I felt that God had abandoned me and, you know, I wasn't really hearing his voice anymore uh, speak to me. I began to doubt his word, which is very crucial. Uh, I didn't feel that, you know, he was really real and working in my life anymore. Wow. Ellie Tower is our guest live, and uh, we're going to be talking more about her story. In fact, when we come back from uh, from a short break here, we're going to be uh, diving into the, the moment when she made a decision to embrace witchcraft. And you might be thinking to yourself, how how could someone who was walking with the Lord, who really loved Him, decide, forget this, I'm just heading in the opposite direction. We're going to be talking about that in a few minutes. And to put this on your radar, we're going to give you an opportunity to chat with Allie and ask her some questions a little bit later on. You've got Moody Radio with Kurt Goff. <laughs> 